If you're using a Windows computer with Windows 10 or 11, odds are you're using Microsoft OneDrive and you may have collected a lot of folders within your Microsoft OneDrive folder. I'm Chris Gould with Geeks on Tour and I want to show you how you can manage those folders. First, just a little bit of context about OneDrive. Windows 10 and 11 computers all come with a OneDrive folder preset up on the computer. What you need to know is that that OneDrive folder on your computer is what I call a magic folder. When you save a file in that folder, it is automatically uploaded to your OneDrive account in the cloud, your Microsoft account, and it's at onedrive.live.com. Also, if you save or change a file on the cloud side, in OneDrive in the cloud, it's automatically synced to your computer. What if you don't want it on your computer? That's what I'm going to show you. First, I'll show you my account in the cloud. I just go to a browser, type in OneDrive.com. Notice it changes to OneDrive.Live.com. And... I am logged in with my Microsoft account and I can look at my files. I've been using OneDrive a long time and I have a lot of folders. Notice I have 564 gigabytes used out of one terabyte that I get because I subscribed to Microsoft Office. So here are all my folders. And notice all these that are a year and a month. This is a system I've developed over the years to give me a place to put my working files. And notice it goes all the way back to 2015, 2016, all of these folders. I don't want them taking up space on my computer. Let me show you my computer. I go to my file explorer on the computer and under this PC, C drive, users, and Chris, there is a OneDrive. You should find a similar folder in your use, under your username on your computer. But it also has a, a shortcut to it. I'll show you in a minute. So I look at my OneDrive, and here are all my monthly albums. Notice I don't go back to 2015. I only go back to 2020 and mostly 2022. I don't want to have years and years worth of all this stuff on my computer. I could just delete it, but I guess I'm kind of a hoarder. I never know if I might want something, so I want to leave it in the cloud, but not have it on my computer. So I'm going to show you how I will remove these first ones from 2022. Step one, find the OneDrive icon in your SysTray, the tools at the lower right corner of your screen. It's this little cloud. And I want to go into Settings and settings. First, there's one main setting that needs to be on for this to work, and it's under advanced, and it's called files on demand. Save space on your device and download files as you use them. So that needs to be on. Now, to specify the folders I want or don't want, you go to account and choose folders. Notice that all these from past years are unchecked, so they live in the cloud and they are not taking up space on my computer. And I want to do the same with the 2022. So I'm going to uncheck the first half of 2022 and OK. If I go back to my File Explorer on my computer and I get to my OneDrive, notice it is the first shortcut up here. You can still always get to it with this PC, C, Users, Chris, and OneDrive, but I also have it as a shortcut just called Chris Personal. Look at the little OneDrive cloud icon. And voila, it starts with well, this 202006 has something special in it, but for 2022, I now do not have January, February, March through June.
that is how you choose which folders to sync. You open the OneDrive icon in your SysTray, you click on Settings and then Account and choose Folders and you can check or uncheck the boxes for the folders that you want or don't want. That will be reflected in the location on your PC specified as your OneDrive folder.